I'll give you two reasons why x to the power of zero is equal to one. That is, any number raised to the power of zero is equal to one. Now, the first reason is this. I want us to notice a pattern. For example, let's discuss uh, powers of two. Two to the power of one is two. Two to the power of two is four. Two to the power of three is eight, right? Yeah. Two to the power of four is 16. Two to the power of five is 32. Two to the power of six is 64. And the list goes on and on. Have you noticed a pattern? Because these are powers of two, if we divide 64 by two, we are going to get 32. Yes. If we divide 32 by 2, we'll get 16. If we divide 16 by 2, we get 8. If we divide 8 by 2, we get 4. If we divide 4 by 2, we get 2. All right? So that means that if we have 2 to the power of 0 here, if we divide 2 by 2, we get 1. So you can see that 2 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Now, similarly, similarly, assuming we have um, powers of 3, so if we say 3 to the power of 1 is 3, 3 to the power of 2 is 9, 3 to the power of 3 is 27, 3 to the power of 4 is 81. And the list goes on and on. Now, these are powers of 3. So you see that 81 divided by 3, we give us 27. 27 divided by 3, we give us 9. 9 divided by 3, we give us 3. So you can see that this is a pattern, right? It is a pattern. So now, if we have 3 to the power of 0, we are going to have 3 divided by 3, which is 1. So this is telling you that any number to the power of 0, we give you 1. This is first reason. So the second reason, but before that, please click on the subscription button, turn on your notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing this amazing face. <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. So that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. I don't want to miss you in my next video. So tune in at your convenience. Anytime you have your leisure time, tune in to watch our new uploads. You upload two to three times daily. And please give us a thumbs up if you are actually enjoying this video. Thank you very much. Now, to the second example the second reason sorry now remember that if i say um remember that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n according to the law of exponent is equal to a to the power of m minus n right yes now let's start with some physical number that we can discuss for example if i say 3 to the power of 3 divided by 3 to the power of 2. This can be expanded to 3 times 3 times 3 divided by 3 times 3. Okay? So this we divide itself to give us 1. This we divide itself to give us 1. So we have 3 times 1 times 1, which is 3. Okay? Now, if we shall apply the law of exponents, which says that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. That means that another way to solve this is what? 3 to the power of 3 minus 2, which will give us 3 to the power of 1, which is 3. So you can see that we got the same solution. All right. Now, what if we now have the same power? The base, uh, both of them has the same power. This is what I mean. 3 to the power of 3. And we are dividing again by 3 to the power of 3. You notice that if you expand this, you will have 3 times 3 times 3 divided by 3 times 3 times 3. Okay? So this will divide itself 1, divide this itself 1, divide itself 1. So we have 1 times 1 times 1 which is equal to 1. But if we apply the law of exponents, the law that states that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n, then definitely another way, the easiest way to solve this is 3 to the power of 3 minus 3, right? Which is equal to 3 to the power of 0. So you can see that 3 to the power of 0 is definitely equal to 1 if this rule is equal to this. Can you see that? Now, if we decide to use x, x should stand for any number at all. So if we say x divided by itself, right? This is the same thing as x to the power of 1 divided by x to the power of 1, right? Which
which is equal to x to the power of 1 minus 1, which is equal to x to the power of 0. Now, if we use the expansion method, x divided by x is simply x will divide itself to give us 1. So what we have here is 1. So you can see that 0, x to the power of 0 is equal to 1. And that is just it. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Have you watched how to prove that 0 factorial is equal to 1? I'm going to attach the video at the end of this video as end screen. So do well to watch it. Thank you for watching. Bye.